Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Animal Adventures with Eros. And today is the day we start working on our insectarium. So we have found quite a few different little insect friends throughout this world. Like for example, this lovely snail over here. Oh, you're so shy. You're so shy. I'm so sorry. Uh, we also found quite a big collection of beetles that we can go ahead and use. So we have red beetles, yellow beetles, and some black beetles. We also have tarantulas that we can make a little enclosure for. And we have spiders from vanilla Minecraft, lightning bugs in the naturalist mod, and there's also, um, I think dragonflies too, but we'll have to see if we can actually uh, collect them and move them around to different places to put them in an exhibit. But I'm very excited to go ahead and get started on this. I already started making one, and we're working on making the second little enclosure over here. And let's see. I went with sand, and we have mud for the backing. We have some jungle logs for the top. And I'm thinking maybe, maybe we should go ahead and go with red sand for this one. And go ahead and remove this sandstone and just maybe do some red sand. Give a little bit of variation uh, throughout our different exhibits. And the beetles in this add-on spawn in the desert, so it's only fitting that we use different types of sand for their little enclosure. And I guess we use, should we use moss maybe? Because we don't want everything to look the same. <laughs> we want different types of backdrops and different decorations and that's what makes it unique and special if things are a little bit different, but also unified. <laughs> so I was looking at pictures of insectariums in real life to kind of see and they remind me a lot of like reptile houses and things like that. There's usually a little, enclosures for different types of insects and there's also uh, a lot of like foliage and plants and things like that so we'll make it very nature-y to kind of fit the vibe but i think this little cave over here is going to be the perfect place to put some of them you know what the moss and the red sandstone look really nice together <laughs> that's really cool i like that and i know we can put dead bushes on sand so maybe we'll go ahead and decorate with some of these just to, you know spruce up the place we also have some in here and then i guess we got some moss a little bit of moss creeping in so we could put a little bit of flowers too if we want but i don't really know we'll see what we do we'll kind of just go with the flow but yeah that looks cool it's unified but also a little bit different on each side and i like this little entry where it's like employees only <laughs> go in here so that they can go ahead and check up on the different beetle exhibits on either side yeah i think that's going to work out quite nicely and i think i'll go ahead and try to name tag them with an anvil and just see how that looks and we'll take one of each type for now i'm not too sure what we're going to name them if we're going to give them names or if i should just name them like beetle one and two um <laughs> can i just name them black beetle one there we go and then we got yellow beetle one and we have a red beetle one too and let's go ahead and put some i guess we'll do on this side we could put three and then on the other side we'll put three too and i think we'll just mix them all together because i know a lot of times they'll have different animals um and different insects like for these type of things they kind of oh, you know what they're kind of big maybe we'll do two in each because they're a little bit bigger for <laughs> needles but <laughs> look at you flying around let's see we'll put um doo -doo 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 -doo. we'll put the yellow one in here there you go buddy yellow beetle and let's go ahead and go over here and let's grab another beetle for this side but let's see how they look yeah i think that oh that looks cool that looks real cool. I like that. I wonder if there's any other color of beetle, um, but these are the only ones I found so far. Let's do, let's do another th one of these and we'll make you a black beetle number two. And let's go ahead and put you over here in this enclosure. If I can get inside. There we go. And be free beetle. Be free. But not free enough because you're still in an enclosure but you know what i mean right <laughs> oh that's so cool i like it 
Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and open this door. Make sure we close it up right away and take a look and see. I have our two little enclosures. That is cool. And we do have this termite, which I'm kind of nervous about putting down. Uh, I don't want them to eat <laughs> eat things. Maybe we'll have to do reinforcement and just like cover the enclosure with a bunch of iron and <laughs> make sure that the termite does not eat through and escape. Oh, look at that. The insect terum already has its very first visitor. Hello. Are you enjoying the beetles? What about you, Mama Sir? Yeah, let's go ahead and reinforce this with some iron blocks, you know, just in case for for scientific purposes. We want to make sure that this termite does not escape. And let's go ahead and name this one termite number one and hopefully the little exhibit that we made will keep this guy inside i don't know this might be a mistake guys i don't know uh we'll, we'll see we'll see how it goes hopefully these iron blocks uh will, will be suffice uh let's go ahead and give just you know a little foliage a little decoration there you go maybe one of those and maybe we'll put a fern right there and um there you go buddy um enjoy yeah what do you think buddy is it suffice are you gonna escape don't escape okay and over here i'm thinking about having like a little half circle enclosure for our little snail buddies um let's see one, two, three. Maybe we'll start here, but we'll have it one down a little bit. Like a so. And let's see. Let's do like this. So one, two, three, four. And we'll do five. And then we'll do this, this, and then one, two, and three. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, kind of make it like a nice little pattern for the little snail exhibit. Yep, it's going to be for snails. <laughs> I think it'll be cool. Uh, and since the snails can't actually climb, uh, it'll be nice to just have like a nice little enclosure on the floor. Uh, we'll fix that up in a little bit, but let's see how that is looking. We might have to do a little bit like this for the glass so we'll go ahead and go like that and we'll put the glass in like so and inside let's do a nice mixture of maybe mud and moss i think i really like those combinations together so let's just go we have a bunch of mud with us we'll just go ahead and make some patches and then we'll fill up the excess with some moss and it looks like we have a nice little opening over here, so maybe we'll have like a, a viewing area on the outside too. So people can kind of look in from, if they walk over here, we'll make it like a nice little path and they can look in and see maybe some animals inside. And I think our new little snail friend will like his enclosure. Let's go ahead and collect him. He's been here the whole time just waiting for a nice little room. So we'll go ahead and collect you and put you inside here so cute and hopefully there's enough area where he won't be so shy for standing over here and it looks like yeah go ahead and frolic uh, we got yellow we can go ahead and make a yellow snail you know, i guess there you go you're so cute maybe we should go ahead and name you two just to make sure bucket of yellow snail we'll just name you yellow snail for now and maybe we'll go ahead and name you something different but there you go yellow snail no seriously you cannot stay Oh my gosh. Creeper. Stop creeping. 
And over here, I'm thinking about having like an indoor tree because a lot of times in these different exhibit areas, they'll have like a big tree built into the wall as like a facade or maybe even real trees. I'm not sure, but we'll work on building something that looks quite nice and maybe we'll have the branches kind of coming off in the ceiling and we can have leaves too to make it look nice and pretty. I guess I should make a bunch of these logs so we have, so it doesn't look weird when we do the branches. And maybe for the roof, we'll do some stone like this and then on this layer, maybe a mixture of warp fungus. We'll see how that looks. And then over in this corner, maybe we'll make a corner exhibit for a tarantula and kind of make it diagonal. Like a so, and we can put glass. Yeah, let's go ahead and name this Tarantula 1 for now. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and put our safety door in here. I think that'll go nicely. We'll put a little button there. And a little button here for the employees of the Insectarium. And I guess we'll go ahead and just do a mixture of different blocks for the floor. Like maybe some of this jungle logs and I got a few pieces of mud that I can scatter around and maybe we'll also go ahead and use some red sand and maybe we'll have in some little leaves like so and I think that'll work nicely and let's go ahead and see how our little tarantula likes it this is actually from the pets mod but I think we just won't tame it and then it should be able to wander around on its own and live a happy life in here. I think he'll like it quite nicely. Look at you, buddy. And it looks like our little termite has not escaped yet, which I'm happy about. And our beetles seem to be enjoying their little enclosures too. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Animal Adventures. I hope you guys enjoyed our start of our insectarium. And I'm excited to build more in this world. I'll see you guys in another episode.